Hi, I'm Faye, and I look pretty normal. Well, most of the time. But I actually have a rare degenerative neurological disease called RFC1 spectrum disorder, also known as RFC1 canvas syndrome. This was me before my onset at 35. I was healthy, active, and keeping up with my wild and fun three-year-old. After my onset, neuropathic pain made walking and doing day-to-day -day tasks feel impossible. I needed a wheelchair and a walker. RFC1 spectrum disorder is kind of like an attack from multiple angles because not only do you have the balance and coordination impairment and the loss of muscle control, but then you combine that with the neuropathy. So the loss of sensation, your inability to feel the ground under your feet. You add vertigo and vision problems and fatigue, and that's how this disease slowly becomes disabling. I am 38 years old. I am the youngest person I know um, with this disease, and even at this early phase of onset, I've lost so much sensation in my feet that I have to really think about where I'm walking and how I'm walking. I miss the way my daughter's hand feels in mine. I drop things often. I have trouble doing, you know, tasks that require fine motor skills like flossing or picking up small things. Living with chronic pain is exhausting. I can't dance with my daughter the way I used to. I can't be spontaneous and silly because my entire body hurts all the time. Neurologists are saying that this little known disease might be responsible for the majority of undiagnosed ataxia worldwide. That's why it's so important that we share this video. RFC1 mediated disease looks different for everyone, but it usually involves a combination of balance and coordination impairment, loss of muscle control, neuropathy, in other words, loss of sensation or chronic pain, vision problems, vertigo, chronic cough, and just an overall feeling of unsteadiness when walking that usually worsens in the dark when you turn your head or on unsteady ground. My disease is degenerative and disabling, and there is no cure, but there is hope. Top neurologists say that in an era of emerging therapies for repeat expansion disorders, understanding the mechanism will allow the identification of potential therapeutic targets, and ultimately, the realization of safe and effective treatments. If you have undiagnosed ataxia, neuropathy, or any of these symptoms, Consider seeing an ataxia specialist at a designated ataxia center of excellence or speak to a neurologist, and if possible, one who specializes in movement disorders. We have to make RFC1 an important conversation. The more we share this video, the better chances there are for a cure. And that means a gene therapy that would literally stop my disease in its tracks. It would give me a shot at having a normal life so we can't give up hope. Gene therapies are saving lives and with the right resources and awareness, a cure really is possible. I hope you'll share my story to help spread awareness about this rare disease. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my story about RFC1 canvas spectrum disorder. 